We're about to embark on a, a task, a new task called picking logs. Uh, you've been using logs so far for visual analysis. Now we're about to uh, get ready to uh, uh, tackle the quantitative analysis uh, project. To do that, we have to learn the rules for picking well logs. The bed resolution of the logging tool plays a role in this. Most porosity logs and uh, the modern induction log, like an array induction log and ladder logs, see about three feet of rock. <coughs> So anytime a rock is thicker than three or four feet, maybe as much as six feet, you can take an average of the log reading to obtain a valid numerical value that you're going to put into the calculator for your quantitative analysis. In the case of older style induction logs, which are still available today, by the way, uh, the bed resolution is much worse. It's more like 14, 16 feet, you know, four or five meters. And... Uh, here we have to pick peaks when the resistivity log reads a zone thinner than about 16 feet, 5 meters. We can't take an average like we could for the other logs. So we have different rules for different log curves. In the case of uh, porosity logs, if it's uh, more than 6 feet thick, certainly take an average. If it's less than 6 feet thick on a porosity log, then you probably want to pick what's called peaks and valleys. The peak would be a high value if you're trying to pick a high value, and a valley would be a low value if you're trying to pick a low value. So my rule is pretty simple. If you're picking a high value, pick high. If you're picking a low value, pick low. That's for thin beds. In the case of uh, thick beds, take an average. The only problem is to remember that older style induction logs, that's the induction electrical survey, the dual induction log, and all its uh, predecessors and, and postcessors, <laughs> the uh, phaser induction log and, and tools like that that are still available today, pick the peak or the valley most of the time. As many of our reservoirs are less than 5 meters, 16 feet thick. On the illustration at the right of the screen, you'll see the log we're currently working on. This is the dual induction log for uh, exercise number one. <clears throat> In zone A, the uh, zone is 40-odd uh, feet thick, and that's a thick zone. So we can pick all our logs by taking an average. Resistivity, density, neutron, gamma ray, we can take an average value for those logs inside that interval. If we see a lot of action, uh, as we see in zones B and C, for example, in the resistivity log, we have very high values at the top, very low values at the bottom of uh, zone uh, B and C. And the zones are approximately 14, 16 feet thick, right on the resolution limit of a dual induction log. And so here we want to pick high for the high resistivity. You pick the peak. It's about 100 ohmmeters where I've drawn my black line. And on the low side, low resistivity in zone C, the average would be about 3 ohms, but the lowest possible value is about 2.7 ohmmeters. So uh, because this is thin bed as far as resistivity is concerned, you want to pick a peak for the high resistivity and pick a valley for the low resistivity. For those same zones, porosity, gamma ray, SP, and so on, they're plenty thick enough to take an average. And so again, you can see my black lines uh, show taking of averages for the porosity and the shale indicator logs. You have to get used to the idea that sometimes you're going to be picking peaks and valleys. We'll have an exercise in a couple of lectures where we even have to pick the porosity on the peaks and the valleys.